John Goslin again, just reaching out guys. I wanted to put a quick little segment together on kind of kitchen mastery. And it is part of the seven part video series. You guys have already seen the beginnings of that video. But what I want to talk about today is smoothies, protein shakes, whatever it is you want to call it. And I just wanted to put a smoothie of mine together that is kind of a midday snack for me. This is prior to lunch for me just on any given day. I do use a lot of protein shakes when I'm in, when I'm really not trying to trim down too much. And for yourselves, depending on what your goals are, it's going to be real simple and easy. I'm actually going to mix this little concoction together for you. Okay? So I'm going to start with two scoops of protein. As you can see, uh, I do have a measuring, a measuring cup available, but fortunately for us, they give us a scoop and a lot of protein powders. Um, there is more reading to further educate yourself on protein powders within the, within the courses that I use. Uh, I would highly, highly recommend doing some research on it because it's really simple. So here's scoops, two scoops of protein, okay? Um, just so you know, this particular brand, I'm not going to plug any particular brand here right now, uh, there's 20 grams of protein per scoop. So that's 40 grams of protein, okay? There is no fat and six carbohydrates. Okay. I'm also going to take a half a cup of blueberries, Okay, a little taste here, nothing worse than just a, a straight old protein shake with no taste. Um, if you are following some of the guidelines for the, for the meal allocation in terms of calories, depending on what your goals are, for me right now, I'm on 2,300 calories a day. Okay, So if I was to break my meal down to a 50% protein, in each meal, okay, of my caloric intake per meal, and that's also a micro version of per day. 50% protein intake, 35% carbohydrate, and 15% uh, fat. So for me personally, I need 40, uh, 48 grams of protein every meal, okay, 33 grams of carbohydrates, and 7 grams of fat to make my six meals over the course of a day work out to what it is, okay? So right now, I'm not going to do the total math, but here's some protein, some carbs. I'm also going to put in some Complete Greens. This is a great, great product that not only I recommend, I'm going to put two scoops of Complete Greens in, okay? Alkalinity, guys, is the key. Disease in the human body can only prosper and, and flourish in, a, in an acidic environment. Okay, it's very similar like a swimming pool. Pools don't turn green when they have the right chemical balance in there. And same goes for the human body. So this Complete Greens is a product that I will have a video on and also recommend. Okay? And I'm also going to put something else in there called digestive enzymes. Now what's great about these is they're in a powdered form. When you mix them with liquid, with a liquid, aka water, you get more bioavailability of your foods. In this example of a protein shake, but they work really well with whole foods as well. Um, and the reason why, it's real simple. It's not what you eat, it's what you absorb. And that is so, so critical. And anybody out there who's right around that 28 years of age avenue can understand what I mean. You can't eat pizza like you once could. I'll keep it as simple as that. But what's great about this is it's a measuring device, a little cap on top of the bottle here. This is actually called a line that I endorse. I really highly suggest it because, again, there's 95% absorption here with this powdered line. And this is actually a diagnostic dose, okay? Because you have such high absorbability of 95%, this capful here, you actually absorb 95% of it into your bloodstream. Okay, so this is just a scoop of digestive enzymes to help the cause, all right? And I'm just going to mix my water in here, okay? And I'm going to actually mix this up for you and keep it simple. And then I'm just going to give a quick little reference on a book that I read that really helped me understand a little bit. And I'm going to put a plug out here. This is actually, I put the cap on incorrectly, which happens, right? I'm going to put it on. That looks better. Okay. And real simple, I'm just mixing it up. 30 seconds or so. Can't wait actually. I may mean, I'm starving right now. I've had a time to start to wait for you. And it's real simple and easy. 
frosty beverage. Cheers to your health. Wow. Okay. So real quick, there's going to be some, some recommendations and some recipes for smoothie shakes in the courses that I recommend for fitness. Okay. There's a couple different courses I will recommend. One is for fat loss and really shredding the midsection. Okay. That's actually where I'm on right now as I currently film this, but there's also some for weight gain. Everybody's goals are different. Yours are no different. So again, cheers to your health. Talk to you soon and be awesome. Bye now.